Hey what's up guys, today I'm showing you how to set up, wire and code a DHT11. This is an air temperature and humidity sensor. So it's pretty easy to set up, it's basically three wires, you've got your 5 volt, your ground and then your signal wire which goes to a digital pin. Just in case you couldn't see it on my breadboard, this is how it's set up. So the 5 volt goes to the 5 volt on the module, you've got the ground to the ground and then you've got that signal pin which goes to a digital pin which you can choose any digital pin you like just make sure you update it in the code next what you're going to do is go down to the description below where you can find the link to the DHT library so you're going to open that up grab those two files and you want to paste them or extract them into a new folder inside of your libraries folder of your Arduino. Now, once you navigate there, you'll need to create a folder. I called mine DHT, pasted the two files in there or extracted them in there. Then we're gonna open our code, which is also in the link in the description below. Now you don't need to change anything other than the pin that you're using. So that third line define DHT 11 underscore pin. I'm using 52 because I'm using the Mega, but if you're using an Uno, most likely you'll have some other type of pin number. So once you've done that, you've uploaded, then what we have is the actual results. Now, as you can see, the temperature and humidity is coming through, but every second reading is actually giving us a negative 999. Now there's a reason for that, which is the fact that the DHT11 has a sampling rate of one hertz, which is one reading every second. Now, if you were to compare that to the DHT22, that's only 0.5 hertz, so one reading every two seconds. So what you can actually see is that the delay on that loop in the code is set at 1000. So if you would increase that past 1000, let's say for example 1500, you won't be getting that second reading, which is showing as the negative 999. So depending on what you're using and what you're actually requiring would depend on whether or not you would use the DHT11 or the DHT22. But as you can see there, there's also different ranges in temperature and also how accurate the temperature and humidity is. So like I said before, depends on what you actually require. So what I'm going to show you now is that I changed that delay to 1500. Now I'm going to upload that code and as you can see what we're going to get is the temperature and the humidity but we're not getting that second reading which isn't actually registering. So, so that's all you need to do to set up the DHT11. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe and we'll see you next time.